What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Nosy Rosie. And DJ Money Homie. And this is The Check-In. Mm. Wednesday morning, Centoya Brown was released after doing 15 years of her life sentence. If you guys don't remember the story of Centoya Brown, she was taken into sex trafficking at the age of 16. And then one day, uh, one of her clients paid for her and she ended up killing him after some type of abuse. Now in the story, it was said that the client, uh, I remember, it, I, I believe his last name was Alan. He was, he took her back to the place and he was showing her all these guns. She feared for her life and she took one of the guns and shot him because she thought he was about to shoot her. So after all of that, she was sentenced to life in prison. But of course, out of all the mainstream news that she has gotten, all the attention she's got, everything was overturned and she was released on Wednesday morning. So uh, I see a lot of things happening with this story. I do remember seeing something that Netflix wanted to turn into a film. Mm. And of course, I believe she's gonna turn into a book as well. But she has been released after doing 15 years. Mm, so, uh, 15, 15 wow. years. So I am wishing her the best of luck with it, that, and I'm happy. I'm so happy that she can finally live her life mm -hmm. because it was a weird. It was a really screwed up and weird situation right. mm -hmm. to be taken into sex trafficking at such it's a young such age. Young age right? so. mm -hmm. Now if you guys don't know, in other entertainment news, Young Miami of the group City Girls, her G-Wagon was shot at you guys in her hometown while she was leaving the studio. Now if you guys don't know, her baby daddy, his name is 808 Mafia, and he did have a few with Kodak Black. So a lot of people speculate that maybe Kodak Black's freestyle of introducing to a beef, Honestly started the whole feud and a lot of people feel like that he was involved in the shooting when it came to Young Miami now What do you think about this because if you also remember with that whole situation after he dropped the freestyle remember he dropped the freestyle from Jay mm. So after the freestyle dropped it started a lot of drama especially between the young Miami and the father of her child mm. He did go to social media to mm. express his feelings about the situation including calling out Kodak Black and the place that Kodak Black is from. Mm. Now, none of us can actually say who exactly did it. Right. But with all of that happening in such a, I want to say, in such a timely mm -hmm. matter, of course, we're going to want to point our fingers at, at Kodak, Kodak Black. Right. Maybe looking at the fact that he might have tried to orchestrate that whole ordeal. Right, and he, maybe he did try to orchestrate that, but a part of me just really feels like Kodak should know better when it comes to a pregnant woman. I'm not accusing him, but at the same time, why would you send someone to shoot up a G-Wagon with a pregnant lady That's in it? That's if he did it, because none of us know. It could have been someone else from the past. It could have been just someone being jealous it of the whole have. situation. Now, you guys, it's time for Artist of the Week, and Artist of the Week is... Lose. Make sure you guys follow Lose on Instagram at underscore Lose. Here's his new single. Hey, yo, I'm in the blue with a glizzy. And the Draco came with some titties. Send my gang is on a mission. They with it. Ain't no hesitation. Them niggas gon' kill it. Yeah. All right, you guys. That is our show for this week. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms. And follow the station at 97.7 FM. And don't forget, we do this show every Friday. So, I am DJ Money Homie. And I am Girl Nice Rosie. This is the check-in. Wow.